Hello my friends and welcome to my channel. Today we will look at a fairly simple method on how to reset a forgotten password in Windows 8, Windows 10, and Windows 11. It's actually a big problem when you can't open your computer. You are trying to remember your password, but it doesn't work. You can reset your password and come up with a new one, but you didn't create a password reset flash drive. Do not worry, look carefully, repeat exactly after me step by step and we will succeed. And so, to reset the password, we need to open the command prompt, and first I will show you four ways to open a command prompt. Method number one. On your keyboard, press and hold the shift key, and then click, here, and restart your computer. The automatic system restore program opens. Click, troubleshoot. Then, advanced options. Now click, command prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on the configuration of the operating system, the program may ask for your password before opening the command line. In this case, I suggest opening the command line in a different way. For those with command prompt open, you can skip the second and third methods and go straight to making changes to the registry editor. Method number two. And so, to open the command prompt, we restart the computer for this. And as soon as the system starts to boot, we immediately press the reset button to force the computer to restart. If your computer is UEFI, the Windows boot will show dots rotating in a circle, just like in my video, and you immediately force restart your computer. And if you see the Windows logo, then also immediately press the reset button. If this is happening on your laptop, when the Windows logo first appears or dots rotating in a circle, press and hold the power button for about 4 seconds until the laptop turns off, and then turn on the laptop again. Continue to force restart your computer or laptop several times until system restore starts and you see a white font on your monitor. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click here. Then, Troubleshoot. Click, Advanced Options. Now press Command Prompt. Depending on the configuration of the operating system, the program may ask for your password before opening Command Prompt. For such a case, I suggest opening the Command Prompt in a different way. Method number 3. If your system asks for a password to open a command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10, or Windows 11 installation USB flash drive to your computer, or you can also use a Windows installation DVD. Usually, using such a bootable USB flash drive or DVD disk, Windows is installed on the computer. Whether your version of Windows is Home or Pro, any edition of Windows will work to reset your password. Connect this USB flash drive or Windows DVD to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. The Windows installation menu will open, but we will not install anything, just press Shift and F10 at the same time. And the command line immediately opened. Sometimes this method does not work, and now I will show you the fourth, and final way to open a command prompt. Method number four. The first few steps of the fourth method are exactly the same as method number three. We boot the computer from the Windows installation USB flash drive or Windows DVD and wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install Windows here either. Next. In the menu we will click, repair your computer. 
The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, troubleshoot. Now press, command prompt. A command prompt has opened, and now enter the command, notepad. Press, enter. In this window, click, file. Click, open. Now go to this PC. Here we see several disks and now you need to find the disk on which Windows is located and remember the letter that this disk is designated by, this will be necessary for our further actions. The fact is that here the drive with Windows does not necessarily have to be designated by the letter C, it can be designated by the letter D or another letter. Perhaps your computer has several physical disks and then you can identify the Windows disk if you open it and see folders that are usually located on the C drive. I open the local drive C and here we see the operating system folders, program files, the Windows folder, user and other folders, this means that my Windows drive is designated by the letter C. Please, remember the letter of your drive where your Windows is located and we will move on. We close these windows and go to the command prompt. Please be careful when entering commands, it is not at all difficult to do. You should know that just one wrong letter will prevent you from succeeding, but if you make a mistake, you can always start typing the commands from the beginning again. And so, write, move, space. I will write the letter C, but you write the letter of your drive with Windows. Colon, slash, Windows, slash, System32, slash, Utilman, dot, exe space bill write the letter c and you write the letter of your windows drive colon slash windows slash system 32 slash utilman 2 dot exe press enter the command completed successfully now write copy space i will write the letter c but you write the letter of your drive with windows colon slash windows slash system 32 slash cmd dot exe space i'll write the letter c and you write the letter of your windows drive colon slash windows slash system 32 slash utilman dot exe press enter the command completed successfully to exit a command prompt write putal space reboot press enter my computer has rebooted i hope everything went well for you the lock screen has opened and now you need to click on this button here the command line has opened. Here write the command, net, space, user. Press, enter. Here we need to find the name of our account, my name, James. Now we will write the following command. Net, space, user, space, I write my account name, James, you write your name, space, put a sign, asterisk. Press, enter. Press, enter. Press, enter again. Now we have removed the password, instead of the password we have set an empty space, and this has completed the password reset process. But I have to tell you one more addition to this process. If your account name is two or more words, that's a problem. In this case, try to write all these few words without a space, for example, if the name is Bill Gates, write, Bill Gates. Or try putting such a name in quotation marks, try several options, and this should solve the problem. To exit a command prompt, write, exit, and press, enter. Now you do not need to enter a password, and to enter Windows, just click, here. And so, we reset the forgotten password, and I hope that what I just said could help you, and if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Write me a comment, 
I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have a nice day.